I saw him in his arrogance that he was an arrogant, young, cocky kid who thought he could do anything. He was a, quite a ladies' man. I mean, something in sports, you know, it's an aphrodisiac or whatever. He was living a high life. He was a big drinker. He was a wild country boy, and he had a great sense of humor. So he was very entertaining, and, and people really liked Tex. Then he got and, into his boxing, and, and he was a kickboxer, and he told me about going to the gym. He, was, he went to a gym in Philadelphia, which was Joe Frazier's gym, and that's where he wanted to go to learn to box, to translate from a kickboxer to a boxer, right? And he told me about going into the gym and he had this big flat nose when I saw him. He says, he's going to the gym and get into the room with these guys and all of a sudden his knee would come up and he would push it down and then get hit. You know, every time he would do, get hit again. Boom. So that's how he learned to keep his legs down. He was quite a, a lot of fun. Tax. And then I saw him much later after his career. He learned quite a lot. He was an interesting man. I liked him very much.